first what let us simplify what we have here i'm going to solve this using two methods so this particular one is the first method now in the first method we are going to this 30 is same thing as what 10 multiplied by 3 right raised to the power of 3 plus this same thing as 4 multiplied by 10 raised to the power of 3 plus this same thing as 5 multiplied by 10 raised to the power of 3 is equal to what? Now we um, factorize. We factorize. But before that, let's open this bracket. According to the law of indices, A multiplied by N raised to the power of B is equal to A to the power of B multiplied by N to the power of B. Okay? So we are going to use this or we are going to express this in this form. So, if we do that, then we have 10 to the power of 3 multiplied by 3 to the power of 3 plus 4 to the power of 3 multiplied by 10 to the power of 3 plus 5 to the power of 3 multiplied by 10 to the power of 3 is equal to what? Okay, now let's go ahead and factorize. Yes, because when you look at this, notice that we have 10 to the power of 3, 10 to the power of 3, and 10 to the power of 3. So we are going to factorize it out to simplify this particular question. So we do that right now. We are going to have 10 to the power of 3. We open our brackets. When this is divided by 10 to the power of 3, we have 3 to the power of 3 plus when this is divided by this, we'll have 4 to the power of 3. Plus, when this is divided by this, we have 5 to the power of 3. Okay, now this is equal to square root of 10 to the power of 3 multiplied by... Recall that this is the first method, that we have two methods, right? We are going to use two methods to solve this. Now, what is 3 to the power of 3? That is 3 times 3 times 3, and that is 27, right? So we have 27 plus, what is 4 to the power of 3? 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 4 should be 64, right? So we have 64 plus 5 to the power of 3 is 1, 2, 5. Okay. Now let's shift to this side. If this is the first time you're coming across this channel, please don't forget to hit the subscription button and on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. Thank you so much. So this is where we are. Let me copy it out. The square root of 10 to the power of 3 bracket 27 plus 64 plus 1, 2, 5. Perfect. Now, this is equal to square root of 10 to the power of 3 multiplied by... Now, let's add this. If we add, we have 1, 2, 5, 64, 27. Now, 5 plus this is 9, and 9 plus 7 is 16. We carry 1. Um, This will give us 10, plus 1 is 11. Then we add 1 here, we have 216. 216. So this is square root of 10 to the power of 3 multiplied by 216. Now this is equal to the square root of what? 10 to the power of 3. Now 216 same thing as 6 to the power of 3, right? Multiplied by 6 to the power of 3. Now when you have the same power, just like we did here, okay? We are going to bring this into the bracket and we are going to bring the 3 outside. So if we do that, we will have 10 multiplied by 6 raised to the power of what? 3. Now, this is equal to square root of 60 raised to the power of 3. Now, we can express this as what? We can express this as square root of 60 squared multiplied by 60 to the power of 1. Yes. Using the law of exponents, we have that a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m plus n. Okay? So, that is why we can express this as that. Now, let's continue. So, we can now open this bracket or we can distribute this square root sign for both of them. So, we have square root of 60 squared, right? Multiplied by square root of 60. Okay, let's continue from here. If we do that, then we have 
Now, square root of 60 squared will give us 60, right? So we have 60 here. So 60 multiplied by square root of 60, right? Square root of 60. Okay, now this is equal to 60 multiplied by. Now, 60 is same thing as 4 times 15. 4 multiplied by 15. Now, this is equal to 60 multiplied by. So, this is same thing as square root of 4 multiplied by square root of 15, right? Now, this is 60 multiplied by square root of 4 will give us 2 multiplied by root 15. So, this is equal to 120 root 15. Now, that is it for the first method. Okay? Now, let's use the second method. Now, let's go over to the second method. That is method 2. Okay? So, this is equal to square root of... Now, 30 to the power of 3 simply means 30 plus 30 times 30. Sorry, 30 times 30 times 30. Which will give you 3 times 3 times 3 will give you 27. And we have 3 zeros, right? 1, 2, 3. So, that means that this is 27,000. So, we have... 27,000 plus similarly 40 times 40 times 40. We are going to have three zeros, then 4 to the power of 3, which is 64, right? So we have 64,000 plus here we are going to have three zeros, and 5 to the power of 3 is 125, so 125,000. Okay, then we go ahead. If you add this together, what are you going to have? We are going to have 216,000 because I have added something similar to it before, right? Now, this is equal to square root of 1,000 multiplied by 216. So, this is equal to square root of 10 to the power of 3 multiplied by 6 to the power of 3. Now, if we continue, we have that this is square root of what? 10 multiplied by 6 raised to the power of Three, okay, so this is equal to square root of 60 to the power of 3, which is equal to square root of 60 squared multiplied by 60, which is equal to square root of what? Um, square root of 60 squared multiplied by square root of 60, okay? So this, we divide this, you are left with 60 multiplied by square root of 4 times 15. So this is 60 multiplied by, this is 2 root 15, right? And which will still give us the same answer, which is 120 root 15. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely day.